Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products, and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's get started. we're doing in the entire lineup of mice is that we have worked very hard on the sensors. So what we're doing with Quantum is a little bit different from many of the other companies out there. We value very highly that you have exactly the same performance as you have on wired. That's number one, that's key for us. We don't sacrifice any of the performance specs. We have a really good radio solution and we have a really strong processor inside the mouse. If you run out of juice, you plug this guy in and uh, within 15 minutes of charge, you basically have enough uh, playtime for a full day. So over the last couple of years, we've had products come out with what we call the true one-to-one -one sensors. True one-to-one -one means that whatever you're doing with your hand actually translates onto what happens on the screen. The 650 wireless, just like the 600, has a dual sensor solution. It has one sensor that's your ordinary just movement sensor. And then we have another sensor that, that's only dedicated to doing liftoff detection. All gamers lift their mice many, many times during a match. And every time you lift your mouse, every time you put it down, there's gonna be some inconsistency with what happens to your, basically your cursor on the screen or your movement in the game. By having an additional sensor, we can make that much smaller so that you don't have any jitter, you don't have any of those artifacts anymore. I picked 600, I was like instantly, yeah, yeah this is my mouse from SteelSeries. I just love it, like how it feels in my hand and like how the sensor and everything works is just amazing. Can't wait till the wireless one comes out. How good it feels to play with a mouse when you don't have the cord there. It feels like you're free. The wireless mouse have been improving so much over the last two years that you actually cannot feel the difference. I'm not going back to wire anytime soon. So historically you've always had to make a choice. Either you went wired and got the full performance or you went wireless and you had to cut off some of your mouse performance because of battery terms and stuff like that. You no longer have to make that choice. With G903, we're making small improvements on one of the best mice ever designed, the G900. So we've updated the design of the original G900 by adding 50 million click buttons to the mechanical pivot button design, which is an awesome new innovative design of the Switch. Not only that, but now with the addition of the module system, we have two different modules. It supports our power play system. We've also added in a weight module that allows you to add 10 grams to the weight of the mouse. With G903, we wanted to make sure that we solved uh, all of the problems that people perceive with wireless gaming. So they're concerned about latency, they're concerned about weight, and they're concerned about battery life. We've solved the problem of latency with our Lightspeed Wireless. We do a ton of testing, both in real world and in simulated environments. Some gamers were finding that the incredible weight reduction we did with the original G900 actually made the product slightly too light for them. So we wanted to add a 10 gram weight to allow people to have the option to increase the weight if they wanted to. And finally, talking about battery life, we now not only have our incredibly efficient sensor and battery design, but we've also introduced PowerPlay, which is a new solution that allows you to never have to worry about charging your mouse again. G903 comes with the following. First, a G903 mouse, the combination data and USB cable for both charging and data. It has an accessory case in which you'll see both replaceable buttons and extra button blanks, a light speed receiver, a USB adapter, and an optional 10 gram weight. Set up your G903, plug your USB cable into your PC, and then take the USB adapter, plug it to the end of the USB cable, and you're ready to go. G903 features our dual-mode hyperfast scroll wheel for click-to-click -click or free-spinning scrolling. The hyperfast wheel has a new spoked design, which allows us to remove a lot of the weight. We have five DPI levels, 
It features our PMW3366 sensor, which is our highest end sensor. New to the G903 is the ability to add an optional 10 gram weight. Just push open the weight door, put the weight inside of it, and use the magnets to put it back in. G903 can be set up either left or right handed thanks to the removable button panels and buttons. You can pop them off, they stick on with magnets, and you can set it up so it's either left side, right side, or both sides at the same time. When you make something great, how can you make it greater? Well, you can make it last a lot longer, and you can also introduce new technologies like power play. We're able to consistently outperform the competition in terms of signal strength and fidelity. Um, and we were able to get a ton of functionality without uh, exceeding 110 grams. Combine all these things together and you get an incredibly powerful wireless gaming mouse that's simple and straightforward to use and incredibly comfortable. We created the world's first high-performance wireless gaming mouse to give gamers complete freedom of movement. Today, we bring you the next generation of wireless gaming. Introducing the new Razer Lance Head with state-of-the-art proprietary adaptive frequency technology. The adaptive frequency technology scans frequencies in the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth hundreds of times a second and pairs to the clearest, strongest channel. So whether you have Wi-Fi or other wireless devices on the same frequency, the Razer Lance Head maintains a solid connection and eliminates lags or spikes during gameplay. We put the Razer Lance Head against another wireless gaming mouse in a wave of tests. Here, we simulated an office environment where multiple Wi-Fi networks exist on the same bandwidth. Introduced other wireless gaming devices such as a wireless headset, Toughen the test in a high-performance gaming context. Finally, we recreated a LAN environment where multiple wireless gaming mice are competing for similar frequencies. Despite all of this, there's no drop-off in the signal, unlike the other wireless gaming mouse. The Razer Lance Head clearly dominates with industry-leading transmission stability. This is the new Razer Lance Head, engineered for wireless supremacy. During gameplay, the pro should not be thinking about the mouse at all. The mouse should just work. Everything that the pro does with regard to the mouse should be prior to the match. When it comes to mice, I switch constantly. And I can tell you right now firsthand that like you can tell like when, when a mouse is good. As soon as I put my hand on it, it feels like a mouse that I've used before or a mouse that I've used actively. And it felt very comfortable right away. When I first had the Pro Wireless mouse in my hand, I didn't feel any resistance at all, and it was really light, so I was feeling like I can do whatever I want with the mouse. The weight of the mouse is an incredibly important factor for all gamers. Not everybody likes the same weight, but one of the things that we found over the course of developing mice for pros is that lighter tends to be more preferred, Prior to using the Pro Wireless mouse, I've generally used heavier mice, and I think that had a tendency of overactivating my shoulders and traps, makes my shoulders and wrists exhaust a lot quicker than I would like them to playing the game. Even a 10 gram difference in the weight of the mouse that you're moving can make a difference in terms of fatigue at the end of the day. So to reduce the weight of the mouse, we push a limit in all engineering disciplines. Through extensive UX testing and feedback from the pros, we removed any features they didn't want, and we improved upon and reduced the weight of all the features they did want. But the best thing is that it doesn't have anything I don't like. It has what I want, nothing else and nothing more. So this was the big challenge here, was to make it stiff and strong enough out of one millimeter wall thickness, while also making sure that it can pass the drop test. 
when we started working on our actual shape. We quickly realized that the endoskeleton was the most suitable architecture. This is because the endoskeleton brings everything inside closer together. And we worked very closely with the electrical engineers to make sure that every part of the circuit board had a function. It's starting with the number of components we put on the printed circuit board because the less components you have, the lighter the, the mouse is. This meant in the later stages we were actually literally just cutting away parts of the printed circuit board. Before, the sensor was always the barrier to make something that is lightweight and cordless and performing. With Hero 16K, we finally were able to still get an exceptional battery life and to reduce the weight like never before. We worked on especially what we call angle snapping on, on very uh, sub-pixel movement. So we not only improved for the 16K player, we improved also for the 400 DPI player because the small movement, accuracy and absence of angle snapping has been really improved. This is something we can measure, but this is something uh, we can feel as well. One millimeter left or right can really make a difference in a game. When my gear is on point and I feel very comfortable with my gear, I feel like nothing can stop me. And I'm like basically like using an aimbot, you know? My hand is a cheat, you know, at that point. Lightspeed Wireless is a technology that's exclusive to Logitech G, and it's fundamentally changed the way that people feel about wireless, particularly in pro gaming. I definitely think wireless helps you improve your games because of how the wire sometimes get tangled and gets in the way of your aiming. With Lightspeed, we raised the bar to the highest level in terms of performance, reporting at one millisecond in a very uh, accurate way. You have esports athletes at the very highest levels in the most demanding esports, winning tournaments using Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mice. As soon as I switched to wireless, that was just a whole new world. Everything was so seamless and there's no distraction. There's no, oh, this feels a little off or I need to adjust this. It's just, once it's right, it's right. I don't have to adjust anything and I can just put my absolute focus on the game. <laughs> G Pro is where it's at. The shape is just better. I think these are amazing. My first thought when I had my hand on the mouth is like, when can I get it to my home so I can play with it?